People, we're back. Today's new toy. We have the QNAP TS410 Turbo NAS. That's network attached storage. Basically meaning you have your, instead of a USB drive or a Firewire or whatever other kind of drive you have attached physically to your, your, uh, your box, whether it be a desktop or laptop, now you have this bad boy connects directly into your network. That means anything connected to your network be it wireless or through the Ethernet cable, that means your TV, your cell phones, laptops, tablets, anything that connects to that should, in theory, have access to this, depending on how you have it set up. So this bad boy here, um, it's supposed to be a pretty nice unit. I'm expecting a lot out of it. Um, it's compatible with both two and a half inch and a three and a half inch drives. Um, it's got 800 megahertz CPU, 256 megs of RAM. Um, it's a pretty good unit. This one has four bays here, uh, four internal bays, and supports up to eight terabytes uh, SATA 2, um, and also has dual gigabit uh, Ethernet ports on the back. Plenty to utilize those. Just got the uh, the Linksys E3000, so I think this and that should play real nice together. Let's go ahead and open the box. I haven't opened it yet. I was downloading my memory card. It took me about 45 minutes. I had a ton of stuff on there. I couldn't wait to unbox this bad boy. But uh, the moment is now, Let's see what's in here. Boom. That. Ah, this is easy. Nice little box. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. The box within the box. Okay. So what we have in here is a set of keys. It's the front panel. You see there's uh, four bays there. You can lock them down. So anybody tries to tamper with it or accidentally, it's not going to just slide out and, you know, go ahead and kill your RAID array. That's not going to happen with these locks. Uh, we have a power supply here. I believe it's 60 watt. Uh, it's 10 amps. If anybody out there curious how much juice is using. Um, standard power adapter from this end. You take anything from the PS3, PCs, monitors, they all use the same type. Universal goes into this, this goes into there, and we're online. Uh, we also have two, I'm assuming these are gigabit cables, to utilize those ports. We have some manuals, some software, and everything you would expect in a box. So let's take a closer look at the main unit here. Put this aside. <coughs> Pretty nice. Gives you the sequences for the uh, hard drives one, two, three, and four. In case you're lost when you're setting up your uh, your settings on the network interface, uh, from what I understand, you can do RAID, you can do uh, JBOD, um, maybe even a combination of both. So you can, uh, it's pretty dynamic actually. So as like I said, you got the uh, USB port in the front. Um, from what I understand, if you plug in your USB drive there, you can do uh, initiate a one-touch copy. You just tap this and it'll back up um, one of the hard drives onto that unit. Um, not exactly sure how it works just yet, but... And on the back, we also have... Uh, okay, on the back, we have uh, <laughs> the, the two gigabit ports there. We also have two eSATA ports, three USB. We also have the universal PC lock there if you want to lock it down and keep the thefts from walking away with all your, your information. We also have a hard reset. Uh, pinhole right there if you want to reset your device for whatever reason. Looks pretty nice. And uh, let's see how she looks when we open it up. Just locked it. So there's the tray. Also labeled on there too. In case you have a couple of drives laying around, three or four of them, and you're not really 
make sure which was where. I don't have to look too far. The information is right there. So now we have all the trays out. Take a closer look. Nothing too fancy in there. We got a board on this side of the uh, of the box. We've got another board in the back for the SATA and power ports. And we've got trays. That's pretty much it. I guess uh, stay tuned for a full review or a partial whatever a review on uh, my findings on this my likes about it and uh, the general use what you're going to see from it if you're uh, planning on looking at a unit like this yourself